hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of editing process in this photo this one was non-edited image uh, raw image actually here uh, some spot uh, in a knee and uh, the other color tones and other steps is not good if i zoom it in uh, some spots in a face but in this photo i made the photo totally different and uh, the color grading other stuffs i made it properly so how to do this type of editing in this video how to do so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications let's start the tutorial okay i'm just closing this up and here the image i'll provide you the credit line of this photographer and you can contact the photographer to get the photographs for more practice purpose and other steps i can't share these type of photos to you just because of uh, i just took from him so opening it up it's taking time okay this is the raw image at first you have to observe the spot from the face and go to the spot healing, healing brush tool in camera raw 12.3 you know that this one is the update of the previous camera raw. and in this camera 12.3 you are getting dedicated spot healing brush tool and you can control your brush size by pressing scroll wheel or that means the mouse scroll wheel select once it will take pixel from the non affected area and it will fill up the affected area and remove the spot that is the basic technique of spot removal that means uh, if you use a clone tool or other tools you just do something the same process that means non affected area get the pixel from there and filling up the affected area so here the visual spot if you want to get the more prominent way to get the spot so you can use a visual spot over there and then now basic panel now i just got this type of image i will apply the preset in this photo before that i have to do one thing go to the options and three options over there open as object is uh, more smarter than the other one just because of if you open as an object you have that assumption to change it in future so open as object and it will open up normally in photoshop so now i'm getting the photo normally but one thing is that this spot i forgot to remove so now again double press in a smart object it will open it in camera raw isn't it smart or easier for the live hacks just because of if you left any kind of settings and in future you can remember that and you can open it up by pressing the uh, that is the smart object and you can get back to the previous window okay fine now again going to the spot healing brush tool and removing the spot gradually just because of this one is a big spot and if you remove it gradually it will be better than the one at a time so here done i think that's good now i made a preset for you guys and i'll provide that preset downloading in my video description and now i will apply that preset in this photo here the options the small menu go to the load settings options so here the modern girl and load it up you're getting the setup like that i'm going to the basic options now that's good and one thing is that this one is not properly cropped how to crop it out here is a crop tool and i want to rotate it actually here so i want to rotate like this or like this okay in a downside i want to get the breathing space and and crop it out now i'm in a basic panel here you're getting all the stuffs is good and uh, what i have done here here is some spots that is unnecessary uh, i'll remove that so if i make it zoom just control or command plus control for the windows and uh, the command for the mac pc users so who don't know uh, what is the uh, controlling about the command and the options i am just telling that one thing command for the control and the option for the alter button okay that's good now let's see the basic settings what i have done uh, for making this preset okay in a basic panel i'm getting here the temperature 6 is 50 
and the tint plus 2 exposure 0 contrast 0 and the highlight minus 22 that's why you are getting some little bit of down tone and here the shadow minus 2 you can increase the shadow as you wish but the same purpose or same tone please do the same settings and whites that is plus 2 and the blacks plus 1 texture clarity and dehaze didn't touch and let's see the curves from the curves options locked here in a rgb tone curve locked here here and here now this point the output point is 34 and input is 1 and here input is 41 and output 42 and here the input that is 114 output is 101 and let's see in this point the input is 196 and output 185 and here 255 is input and output is that is 243 uh, let's see the other curves i didn't touch those curves uh, let's see the detailing option from here sharpening amount that is 67 noise 42 detail 42 and here the color noise reduction that is 25 and detailing 50 smoothness 50 as well here uh, let's see the color mixture in this portion i'll go to the hue at first you know the hue is color picker that means which color do you want to provide in your photo here the orange color minus 13 yellow minus 60 green that is plus 62 that's why this one is aqua tone you are getting like that and the aqua is 69 totally bluish and the blue from the aqua like that is 29 actually minus 29 the minus value and green the saturation down yellow minus 26 orange minus 2 and the aqua and blue just made the plus value just because of the prominent blue and aqua combination and the luminance all the luminance is up and uh, green and aqua is more upper than the other one let's see the 30 and 50 and the blue that is plus 8 that's good and now if i go to the next portion that is the split toning most important thing the highlight color and shadow color hue here for the color and 48 is a value if you give the 48 you'll get the same color value and the saturation 36 that's why i'm just telling the numbers if you provide the same numbers or you can experiment with the number and you will get the similar tone or you can uh, like invent new tone from here actually the shadow and highlight that is the split toning is most important for color grading you know what uh, this one can change like here some 60 name color and you can make the 60 name preset by using the highlight and shadow color that means the split toning so you have to know the proper way how to use that and you have to grow the sense what will be the color for the perfect photography or perfect editing so here the hue 2 to 1 and the saturation 10 that's good no like uh, lens correction issues and other um, uh, issues and the geometry we don't touch that effects if you need you can use the vignetting here the vignetting if you give the vignetting more like that or like that so i don't want to do more that vignetting i just moderated here minus 11 used over here and the calibration the most important thing another important thing that means uh, after split toning the calibration is another important for the color grading from here you are getting the hue plus 36 for the red primary color and the saturation zero green primary color that is zero and blue primary color that is minus 22 so that means when you are working with these three primary colors you will get more primary tone or primary uh, like uh, effects in your photographs so you can change you have that lot of uh, assumption to change the uh, preset and you can make your own new preset which is according to your photographs just one information is that this photo light settings and the environment is not maybe same to your photographs so you should change or you should like uh, moderate these things according to your photographs this one is a technique to edit the uh, like preset suppose uh, you can buy some preset and which is not uh, properly matched with your photographs um, uh, just because of the owner um, uh, could 
make the photos or the like a preset according to his photography but when you are applying in your photography you have to adjust the settings according to you this one is the technique to use the uh, like uh, presets suppose i am providing you this preset and uh, this uh, preset is not too same or uh, properly same to your photographs uh, and just because of this sample photo and your sample photo is not same hope you got that point and hit the ok button after uh, pressing the ok you will get the change uh, here some area just because of we just uh, given the crop value over there so one thing is that the interesting thing going to the solid color taking the white color and just bring it into backside it's like a border this one is not um, the modern technique but uh, like vintage type modern you can just pick up color from here if you need actually um you don't have to follow as it is uh, i'm just showing you the options you can pick up from there so you can use another uh, like filters or other steps if you want suppose i want to go to the filter and going to the nick collection and color fix pro 4 you know color fix pro 4 is bunch of presets and uh, like filters and other stuffs which is really amazing if you want to get the download link of these plugins please check out my video description from here lots of method a basic method and i'm using from here the cross processing and the sub method from here you can pick up so which one is perfect for your photographs suppose this could be the uh, proper and i just given the value that is 20 percent you can change the percentage if you make this one more value it will give you the other result but i will fill up with the 20 percent good for these photographs and hit the ok button it will take time to uh, like process and providing the final output to you so you know the before and after so let's see the before image was like that that means non-edited image which is raw image that's why it open up in uh, a camera filter here are the properties the photographer's name and the extension that is arw that means sony alpha uh, device was over there and the color mode adobe rgb 1998 8 bit and uh, 21 megapixel 300 dpi and here is the resolution 3750 into 5625 and and after you are getting like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get this type of amazing tutorials and the preset in future so if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and stay safe stay at home until the next video i am signing out bye bye